Algeria, Australia, Azerbaijan, Belarus. Benin, Bolivia, Botswana, Brazil, Ecuador, Equatorial Guinea, Finland, France, Gabon, Gambia, Great Britain, Ghana, What a loop! Hungary! Italy! Indonesia! Kazakhstan, 
Kyrgyzstan. Lesotho. Lithuania. Macedonia. Malaysia. Mexico. Moldova. Mozambique. Namibia. New Zealand. Nigeria. Portugal, Puerto Rico, Russia, Serbia, Slovakia, Slovenia, Spain, Sri Lanka, Tanzania, Slovenia, Spain, Sri Lanka, Tanzania, Thailand, Togo, USA, Ukraine, Venezuela, Zambia, and Zimbabwe.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your hosts for the evening, Bisila Bococo and George Munetzi. Okay, Los Comwes. Do it! Buenas noches. Señoras y caballeros, bienvenidos a Mis Turismo 2013, en directo desde la ciudad de Sipopo, Malabo, Guinea Ecuatorial. Oh, yes, indeed. Good evening. Isn't she lovely? Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Miss Tourism 2013. And we're coming to you live from uh, Sipopo City in Malabo. That's right, Equatorial Guinea, and we're going live to millions of viewers from all over the world. No es esto maravilloso? Es un honor estar rodeados de unas bellezas tan espectaculares, representando a sus países con tanto orgullo. Oh yeah, wasn't that amazing? Wasn't that amazing? You know, I feel so happy and privileged to be amongst all these beautiful ladies here, proudly representing each of their individual countries. Estos trajes son espectaculares. Espero que estéis preparados para la gran noche que os espera. So, why don't we just get started with our first award for the evening? Yes, is, let's do that. You know which award it is? I don't know who it is, but I think you're going to tell me. Our first award for the night is the National Costume. El traje nacional. Le vamos a dar el premio al mejor traje nacional. And the winner for the national costume is... Who is it? Don't be so curious. <laughs> Our winner is... Thailand! Congratulations! Italy walking away there. Congratulations! Well, that is the moment of the day, of the night rather, when we are going to select our top 20 finalists. You know who they are? Top 20 finalists, and I've got the list right here in my pocket. Kinda wait, you're losing everything. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, the top 20, our first top 20 position goes to Algeria. The next position is taken by Portugal. Venezuela. Republic! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together to the next finalist. And that is... Gabon! in here or is the ladies? Uh, um, it's you, Bicilla, that's making me hot. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Ghana!
Oh yeah. This one here, I have to say it very, very slowly. It goes to Equatorial Guinea. We also got Italy. Let me see who am I calling next? Kazakhstan. This is our top 20 finalists, ladies and gentlemen. Miss Tourism 2013, let's welcome Lithuania! You see that? It's getting tough. It's getting tough. I know, I know. You know. Philippines! Puerto Rico! We only have five places left and I wonder who is going to be taking up those remaining five places. Russia is in there! Slovenia! Let's give it up to Spain! The spotlight now falls on Thailand! There is now two places to go while we wait for Miss Thailand to feel comfortable. There she is. Two places left, ladies and gentlemen. Miss Tourism 2013. Ukraine! Priscilla, one remaining spot. I cannot wait. I can feel all those eyes from the girls in my back, like, call my name, call my name. That name that I'm gonna call for the remaining top 20 post is Great Britain! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, those are your top 20 finalists. Thank you, ladies. And let's hear a round of applause one more time for top 20 finalists. We're going to take a short break. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My math teacher is going to kill me. Croatia! Uh, I hear my cell phone ringing. I think that's my mess teacher calling me. So I'm going backstage to answer that phone. In the meantime, we're going to go to a commercial break and we'll be back after this.
Bienvenidos de nuevo a mi Turismo 2013 desde la ciudad de Sipopo, Malabo, Guinea Ecuatorial. de su país. Por eso estamos tan contentos de que se celebre este concurso internacional en Guinea Ecuatorial, especialmente en el complejo turístico de Sipopo, donde gozamos de un turismo de élite, con nuestras playas, selvas vírgenes, nuestra propia isla privada, podemos practicar ecoturismo, practicar deportes acuáticos y jugar placenteramente al golf. Esta vez no he tenido tiempo, la verdad, de jugar al golf, pero espero poder hacerlo pronto. Eso sí, nuestras embajadoras, las Mises, sí que han sido testigos de todas las alternativas turísticas que el país nos ofrece. George, can you take it away? Oh, yes, Bisila. Now, I think you and me agree that we are two people that have got like the best job tonight. But now I need to introduce you to the people with the toughest job of the evening. And those are our judges. So we're going to do a quick introduction to our esteemed judges tonight. You take it away. Como dice George, nosotros tenemos el trabajo más bonito de la noche. Pero hay otras personas que tienen el trabajo más difícil. Ustedes podrán comprender que rodeados de tanta belleza, el poder elegir solamente a una de ellas es muy difícil. Pero tenemos un jurado muy competente de personas muy prestigiosas que han tenido unos días para trabajar y pensar en las personas que van a ser nuestras finalistas. Y tengo el gran placer de presentarles a nuestro jurado. En primer lugar, doña Guillermina Mequi Umba Obono, ministra delegada de Cultura y Turismo de Guinea Ecuatorial. En segundo lugar, doña Jacqueline de Rosario Silva, experta en relaciones públicas y diseño de moda. Don José Antonio Hortas Capjón, experto en hostelería. Don Manuel Moreira, experto en gestión de turismo y hostelería. En quinto lugar, tenemos a Don Oscar Bonifacio Efón, experto en marketing y gestión. En sexto lugar, Don Kelvin Harkins, experto en gestión de iluminación y sonido y grandes eventos. And on the other side, our team judges are Alina Cherogaro, she is the vice president of Miss Tourism Organization based in Great Britain and she is also winner of a former winner of Miss Tourism 2003 from Romania. That was judge number seven, judge number eight, Tatiana Maximova, current Miss Tourism 2012 from Russia. <laughs> judge number nine, Jennifer Wade, former international athlete, undefeated high jumper champion for 13 years from Wales. <laughs> judge number 10, Alice Lee. Miss Tourism's Asian representative from Malaysia. <laughs> Judge number 11, Boris Kosmak, TV presenter and singer from Croatia, also has been working with Miss Tourism organization for over 10 years. <laughs> and Judge number 12 is Alonso Osorio Pena, Miss Tourism's representative of Latin America from Mexico. 
There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our 12 esteemed judges. Now, Bisile, just a few minutes ago, right, we presented the top 20 finalists. And I'm really, really excited about this next category. I know why you're so excited. Oh, yes. You know why? Because it celebrates the creation of the human body, the artistry of the human body. We're talking about the swimsuit competition. La competición de trajes de baño, tu favorito.
Ladies and gentlemen, we begin the 2013 Miss Tourism Swimsuit Competition with Algeria. Portugal. Venezuela. Czech Republic. Gabon. Croatia. Finland Finland Italy Kazakhstan Lithuania Puerto Rico Russia Slovenia Spain. Thailand. 
Ukraine. Britain. Ah. Uh. I told them I could do this. I actually asked the organizers if I can do this part of the event in, in swimwear, and they said, no, no, no. It's all right. Woo! How was that? How was that? All right, after what we just saw, I don't know exactly how the judges are going to be able to pick up their top 10, but I'm just the host. And I'm not sitting at that table or that table, and I don't want to sit at that table. There's some more coming up after the break. Stick around. Bienvenidos de nuevo a Mis Turismo 2013 desde la ciudad de Sipopo. The main aim of this competition is to promote the tourism and culture of each of the nations we work with. We recognize that our contestants have multiple qualities we need to be rewarded. So now will be the perfect moment for some more awards. But first, I would like to bring here a wonderful designer from Equatorial Guinea who makes us proud. Hay una persona que es de Guinea Equatorial, un joven diseñador que hace un trabajo espectacular y que se llama Lucas Enguema Escalada. Wow, 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 wow. Oh my God, what is this? I am so proud to be here. You look amazing. Thank you. I am very sorry to be here tonight, uh, so late, because I actually missed my flight. But I just love my president. He sent his personal jet to get me. Mr. President, thank you. I love you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, my name is Lucas Ingema Escalada. I'm very honored to be here tonight standing in my beautiful country, Equatorial Guinea, surrounded by all these amazing and beautiful ladies representing culture, beauty, and tourism. Now, let's move on. Our second award of the evening is going to be the swimsuit winner. And the award goes to, ladies, are you ready? Miss Philan! Congratulations, Miss Philan. This next award is going to our contestant with the best personality. And our contestant with the best personality is... Miss Croatia! Congratulations, Miss Croatia. Ladies and gentlemen, I love this next award. Since for the lady who knows how to look amazing in front of the camera, and that is Miss Photogenic. Are you all ready? Our winner for the Miss Photogenic is 
Miss Kazakhstan. Congratulations, Miss Kazakhstan. Thank you, ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, let me invite my co-host, Judge. Thank you, Lucas. Hey, I I'm so enjoying my job, you know, every minute. Every minute I'm enjoying my job. I've got the best job in the world right now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's time now to find out who our top 10 contestants are. I can feel. The t can you feel the tension? They tell me the aircon is on. I don't feel it. That's how hot it is. It's getting harder and harder by the minute. Ladies and gentlemen, here are your top 10 finalists. At the top, first entrance goes to Portugal. Next up, we have Venezuela. Czech Republic. How's about we give it up? Two, Gabon! Yeah. We want to welcome on stage into the top 10 finalists Equatorial Guinea! We also gonna go into the next contestant finalist and that is Great Britain! Oh no! Oh no! I am not missing anybody this time. I got a lesson from my teacher on the phone. How to count. Lithuania! Three to go. Puerto Rico! There's two places now in contation. Everybody wants those two places, but only two people and two countries can get those two. The first of the two goes to Spain! Yeah, judges, you have a tough job. You guys have a tough job. One place can go to only one country. The remaining one spot goes to Ukraine. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Tourism 2013, top 10 finalists, here they are one more time. A round of applause. Thank you, ladies. And uh, I know, ladies, 
You want to go and prepare for your evening gowns, yes? Yeah, uh huh. Everybody's waiting to see those evening gowns. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to let you go and prepare for the evening gowns. Thank you, ladies. There couldn't be a better moment to introduce someone on stage who has really been taking advantage of the hospitality that Equatorial Guinea has got to offer. This beautiful island was offering her lots of great places to see. Satyana Maximova, the reigning Miss Tourism, current Miss Tourism, Miss Tourism 2012. Whoa, Tatiana, you are looking good. Thank you so much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Now I know why they made you Miss Tourism 2012. Doesn't she deserve to be the reigning queen? <laughs> All right. Tell me, how has been your year as uh, Miss Tourism? Uh, for me, it was an amazing year. I travel a lot, I promotion tourism, I was in many beautiful countries, I met with interesting people, and in, it's very big, uh, for, it's very important for me. And I want to say thank you so much, organization Miss Tourism, for this uh, unforgettable year. Thank you. It's been great. <laughs> now, the reason we are here is to crown the new Miss Tourism 2013. We're gonna be taking the crown and giving it to the new lady. But from your experience throughout the year, if you were to give advice to the new Miss Tourism who's coming in, what kind of advice would you give her? I am very excited now because I understand what girls feeling in this moment. And I want to say that uh, the very important be natural be beautiful, but not only look beautiful, beautiful inside, I think is the most, the most important. <laughs> yes, indeed. Beauty inside, not on the outside. All right. Now, 
you have gone through a whole lot of countries during your reign. Which one country springs out as this is the best country I've gone to? I think that is Equatorial Guinea. <laughs> because long time I want uh, to go in Africa, but I never have this chance to go to these places. And now I'm here and I'm so happy. I really like this country. It's so beautiful and I think in future it will be the great country. Oh yes, it is looking good. It is looking good. So, uh, I wouldn't be wrong if I said you would love to come back again to Equatorial Guinea. Yes, it's true. Yeah, I think maybe after five years for me it will be very interesting to come in this country. Yes. All right. <laughs> Tatiana Maximova, thank you. Miss Tourism 2012, thank you very much. And we're going to go straight now to our video. Turismo 2013 desde Malabo. Ahora queremos mostrarles a nuestras señoritas ensayando para este prestigioso certamen. Y para ello nos gustaría mostrarles un vídeo.
Wow, 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 wow. La verdad es que nuestras mises han trabajado muchísimo y como habrán podido comprobar, se han dejado absolutamente todo en el escenario. Pero ahora es el momento de relajarse y de deleitarse de estas bellezas en traje de noche. La familia. We begin the evening gown competition with Portugal. Venezuela. Czech Republic. Gabon. Equatorial Guinea. Great Britain. Don't 
Lithuania. Puerto Rico. Ukraine. Doesis. I'm very inspired with all these beautiful gowns. Ladies and gentlemen, now that we have seen all the gowns of our top 10 contestants, let's win all of our girls. Tonight, I need your love. 
Un fuerte aplauso para nuestras candidatas. Judge? Judge, where are you? Right here, my <laughs> Oh my God, <laughs> you're here with the judges. Yes, I'm here to talk to the people with the most difficult job of the what, evening. What's happening, what's happening? Let me find out. Okay, all right, move on. Let me speak uh, to you, uh, Alina, as one of our, our judges. W what has been like the most difficult part of judging this pageant tonight? Good evening, everyone. It's been all very difficult because we've been here in Equatorial Guinea over two weeks now. So we've been watching the girls every single day during their activities, during their travels. And it's not all about the look tonight. It's very important the character, the personality, the attitude. Because to be a Miss Tourism is not just a pretty face, it's a person who became tonight an ambassador of tourism. To promote tourism, to promote Equatorial Guinea, around the world because her, her episode of her life will start tonight with the best memories of Equatorial Guinea. And they will have some very good memories as well. Uh, before I go, the last time I asked a judge this question, they said no. Are you able to tell us Who's your favorite? I won't tell anybody. No, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, Alina. I don't want to break it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. Oh, I feel so nervous right now for the ladies. It's as if it's me that is in this competition here. Ladies, I wanna tell you, you all look stunning. Ladies, you all look gorgeous, right? They're all looking gorgeous. So, in my eyes and everybody else's eyes, you are all winners. Which is why I'm so proud to announce that we have got two more awards. And our next award is for the lady with the best evening gown. And this lady is... Dominican Republic! Now, this next award is very, very interesting. Thank you, Dominican Republic. The next award is very interesting since it is decided by our very own local press here in Equatorial Guinea. Now, they've been involved with the ladies every step of the way. So, the press award goes to Mexico. Congratulations. Some say Mexico, some say Mexico, but it is the same lady. Congratulations. Thank you, ladies. You're all looking beautiful. Next up, we will have the top five announcement and also the question part of the contest. We'll be right back after this commercial break.
Le deseamos eh, la bienvenida la más calurosa en Guinea Ecuatorial y estamos orgullosos de recibirles porque es la primera vez que este evento se celebra aquí en nuestro país. Eh, estáis en un país hermano porque ahora vamos igual, tenemos la misma cultura. Estamos contentos y como la comunidad internacional prácticamente no existe barreras en este momento. Eh, un país africano, Guinea Ecuatorial, os acoge con mucho beneplácito y estamos muy orgullosos de que eh, jóvenes de todo el mundo se concentran actualmente en Guinea Ecuatorial y creo que es una noticia importante a nivel internacional el certamen que se va a llevar a cabo el día 12 de octubre. Os deseo mucha suerte, que Dios os proteja. Gracias. Bienvenidos de nuevo a Miss Turismo 2013 desde Sipopo. Nuestras Misses nos han mostrado ya sus espectaculares trajes de baño, sus fascinantes trajes de noche. Y solo tenemos cinco espacios. Y estos espacios pertenecen a las cinco finalistas. Yo personalmente ya estoy muy impaciente. Y no puedo esperar más, ni un minuto más. Come on, George. Oh, yeah. It's that time when we have cut it down to just five people. Just five. So, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the top five in the Miss Tourism 2013? And... First spot in the top five goes to Spain. And she will be joined on stage in the top five by Venezuela Three places up for grabs These two ladies are going to be joined by a third lady and that third lady comes from Ukraine! Bisila, it's down to two places. I don't make us wait any longer. Everybody is sitting on the edges of their chairs. I'll put you out of your misery by revealing that the next spot is taken by Czech Republic! <laughs> Whew. I'm, I'm getting nervous. Am I the only one who's getting nervous? I am also. The last Remaining spot in the top five, Miss Tourism 2013, goes to Gabon. All right, those are our top five. Now, this is definitely the most nerve-wracking part of the competition. 
The nerve-wracking part of the competition is the question part. This is the part where we get to know the contestants a little bit more. This is called the final question moment. Are you going to do this with me? You know what? You make me so nervous that I think I need a break. So you are by your own. But I'm oh, sorry. Thank you, Bicilla. And thank you, ladies. And now, we'll go to the question part. Ladies, I will ask you to come forward when I mention your name in your country. You'll pick your questions. I will ask each question twice. I will ask each question twice. And you will have 30 seconds in which to respond. Miss Spain, please step forward. Pick your question. I don't want you to see that now. All right. Here is your question, Miss Spain. What makes you a stronger candidate to win the title over the four other finalists on stage? I'll ask you the question again. What makes you a stronger candidate to win the title over the four other finalists on stage? Mambalu, Guinea Equatorial. Bueno. <laughs> Yo creo que pudiera ganar esta, esta corona porque realmente he luchado, he dado todo y yo quisiera ser la representante mundial porque quisiera dar el mensaje de que si persigues un sueño y luchas por él, puedes llegar a conseguirlo. Gracias. Miss Spain, ladies and gentlemen. Miss Venezuela, please step forward. Pick your question. I will read the question to you twice, and you only have 30 seconds in which to give me an answer. Miss Venezuela, what would you do with the title as Miss Tourism? What would you do with the title as Miss Tourism? Miss Venezuela, ¿qué haría con el título de Miss Turismo si ganara la competencia? Repito, ¿qué haría con el título de Miss Turismo si ganara la competencia? Muy buenas noches, Guinea Ecuatorial. Con el título de Mis Turismo Mundo, con mi imagen junto con la organización Mis Turismo Mundo, promovería el concurso a otros países como este que solo necesitaban un empujoncito, un empujoncito porque ya tenía todos los recursos naturales para hacer un destino turístico como va a ser Guinea Ecuatorial próximamente. Thank you, Miss Venezuela. Miss Ukraine, please step forward. Pick your question. Thank you. All right. I will ask you the question twice, and then you have 30 seconds to answer. What is unique about your country to make it an attractive place to visit? What is unique about your country to make it an attractive place 
to visit. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so happy to be here in the beautiful country. And if you visit my country, you're gonna be see so many beautiful places. It's really beautiful and it's like so entertaining. And if you visit, I'm gonna show you all the best things. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Ukraine. Miss Czech Republic, please step forward. I will ask the question twice. You have 30 seconds in which to answer. If I have only one day in your country, what would be the one thing I should do and see and why? Here's the question again. If I have only one day in your country, what would be the one thing I should do and see and why? You're right. No translation needed. Okay. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Buenas tardes, Equatorio Guinea. <laughs> I cannot say only one thing because Czech Republic is a small country, but very nice and historical. But I would like to show you 100 Tower Prague, if you know. Thank you, Miss Czech Republic. Miss Gabon, please step forward. Yeah. I will ask the question twice, and you have 30 seconds in which to answer. Social conflict can greatly affect a country's tourism. How could you still encourage people to see past that and still visit your country? Here is the question again. Social conflict and wars can greatly affect a country's tourism industry. How could you still encourage people to see past that, ignore that, and still visit your country? Bien, d'abord, bonjour à tous, mesdames et messieurs membres du jury. Avant de répondre à votre question, vous pouvez m'excuser, mais je ne parle pas anglais. Si on peut me faire venir un traducteur, ce serait vraiment super. Thank you, Ms. Cabal. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, these are our top five. Thank you very much, ladies. And now, Would somebody translate what's being said to me right now? Does somebody want to take a microphone into the audience? As a matter of fact, should I come to you, sir? Oui, oui, oui. Ah. Maintenant, je comprends. Mais après, je ne comprends pas. You need to repeat the question. All right. The question again is social conflict can greatly affect a country's tourism. 
how could you still encourage people to see past that and still visit your country? Here's the question again. Yes. Social conflict, which are wars, can greatly affect a country's tourism. How could you still encourage people to ignore that, to see past that, and still manage to get them to visit your country? Quels sont les plus grands conflits dans ton pays et euh, comment tu pourrais euh, inviter les gens à venir dans ton pays Non Non Is that is that is that like a very you want me to repeat the question? Yeah. All right. Wars. Sorry. You know? Le 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 guerre. Wars. Was. Espanol. All right. Espanol. Yeah. All right. Uh, Lucas, my friend Lucas, somewhere in the crowd there. But before we go to him, is there somebody who wants to translate this? Oh, yes, sir. Yeah. To, to make it fair. It's fair, right? We'll take all the time in the world so that we do not compromise this lady. All right, let's do it. Uh, le monsieur veut savoir, uh, c'est-à-dire si uh, les problèmes sociaux peuvent vraiment blesser l'image touristique d'un pays. Donc, il veut savoir comment vous pouvez faire pour que les clients puissent regarder au-dessus de cela et continuer de voyager à votre pays. Merci. Ah, oh, you, you should do this job, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. You have 30 seconds to answer. <laughs> eh bien, à tous ceux qui voudraient visiter mon pays, s'il y a des problèmes qui minent euh, le tourisme ou le développement du tourisme dans mon pays, je leur dirais simplement de quand même venir parce que le Gabon est un pays qui est en train de se développer en ce moment. Il est en voie de développement depuis une belle durée. Nous avons plein d'endroits touristiques qui sont euh, très appréciés par les visiteurs. Alors euh, n'ayez pas peur, n'ayez aucune crainte. Vous pouvez venir au Gabon quand vous voulez. Nous, serons, nous allons bien vous accueillir et surtout, euh, ensemble, nous allons faire développer le tourisme du Gabon. Je vous remercie. Miss Gabon. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Maintenant, vous êtes triste pas. All right. My friend Lucas is somewhere in the audience there. Where is Lucas? He is going to be talking to a member of the audience. Oh, yes, there is Lucas there. If we could have somebody pick up his microphone. We still need a volume on your microphone. I am here having a great time with our guests. Señoras y señores, vamos a hacerles una pregunta a nuestros invitados. Hola. Hola. ¿Cómo se llama? Ruslan. Muy bien, Ruslan. Encantado de conocerle. Uh, ¿Cómo se siente esta noche en que nuestro país esté celebrando el evento de Miss Turismo 2013? Me siento muy, muy contento que se celebre este evento aquí en mi país, en Guinea Ecuatorial, y la posibilidad de ver las mujeres más bellas del mundo en mi país. Muchísimas gracias. Thank you very much, Lucas. Now, these ladies here have done an incredible job tonight. I think we all agree. And I think it's only right that we bring them out one last time to enjoy their beauty and elegance. Spain.
Venezuela. Gabon. En algún rincón, en cualquier lugar, oiré tu voz, te recordaré y me faltarás porque tú no estás de That was fantastic. Me gustaría ahora presentarles a nuestro artista invitado directamente desde Venezuela, con más de 25 concursos de canto donde siempre ha quedado entre los primeros puestos, con tan solamente 20 años. ¡Manuel Sarrameda! Como un diamante brillamos Como un diamante brillamos Hay luz reflejada en el mar Tu alegría Tú y yo, tú y yo, como diamantes al brillar Eres como una estrella focas, visiones de éxtasis Si me abrazas, sentirás como diamantes al brillar Hay algo en ti que unió todo mi ser, todo mi ser Hay Sol que en mí encontré, porque en tus ojos lo pude ver. Tú y yo al cielo, deseando ser como diamantes a brillar, tan vivos, sin miedo, deseando ser como diamantes a brillar. Como un diamante brillamos, como un diamante brillamos, oh, 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 deseando ser como diamantes a brillar, como un diamante brillamos, como un diamante brillamos, oh, 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 deseando ser como diamantes a brillar. Eres mi universo y eres mi monstruo de comedia. No moriré si conmigo estás Como diamantes a brillar Eres como una estrella fugaz Visiones de éxtasis Si me abrazas Sentirás como diamantes al brillar Hay algo en ti que unió Todo mi ser Todo mi ser Deseando 
Como un diamante brillamos Deseando ser como diamantes a brillar oh, oh, oh. Oh, what a performance. I, I have to run for this man. I mean, this man, ah, amazing. Emmanuel Serometa, ladies Muchas and gracias. gentlemen. This man with the voice of an angel. Look out for his album. I think he's going to be a great, great superstar. Thank you. We'll be right back after this commercial break with some more action. De nuevo a Mis Turismo 2013 desde Malabo. Tristemente, estamos llegando al final de nuestro show. It's very sad, it is. Oh, yeah. Call this nervousness because we're getting there when we have to announce the Miss Tourism 2013. But uh, it's very sad that we're nearly coming to the end of the show, but we'd like to introduce a group of people we have been entertaining us all night and they are here one more time to give us a final and explosive performance. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome on the stage, Anfibio.
Gracias. Chicos, get out of here. <laughs> you guys were on fire. Thank you. Uh, I tell you what, I wish I, I could dance like that. Do you think you can show me some of those? Uh, but it's okay, some, some other time. Okay, after the show. After, after the, the show. show you. Okay. Please, please. Amen. Well done. Thank you very much. Thank you. Gracias. Okay. These guys have been amazing and they really made their country proud. Like I mentioned earlier on, these ladies here have been working extremely hard for the past few weeks just for this one night. Now, it has not been work, 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 and no play, play, play. There was a lot of playing going on there. Let's show you what our ladies were up to prior to this night. Let's check it out on the video. han tenido la experiencia de su vida. Aquí, en Miss Mundo Turismo, creemos en la diversidad y en premiar a las chicas por el trabajo duro. Nuestro objetivo es hacer que esta experiencia sea inolvidable para cada una de ellas. In no other competition in the world, you will see what's about to happen. We would like to honor one beautiful lady from our different continents. Miss Africa, Miss Asia, Miss America, and Miss Europe. And... Do you want to start, or should I start? Because we are going to give away now to Miss Africa. You do it, I do it? I do it. Ladies first. Miss Africa is... Guinea Equatorial! And we now mention Miss America. That award goes to Puerto Rico. Congratulations, Miss Puerto Rico. You did the first one, so I'll do two in a row. 
No, I think I think it's fair. No big deal. Bye. -bye. Miss Asia, ladies and gentlemen. Philippines. You will announce the last one. Thank you. Miss Europe is... Portugal! Our four winners. Congratulations, ladies! We are honored to have you represent each of these continents. Felicidades! En este momento, me gustaría agradecer a nuestro colega invitado, Lucas Enguema Escalada, por nos habernos prestado su apoyo en esta noche. Un aplauso muy fuerte para Lucas! Thank you, Lucas. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to uh, introduce and invite the Vice President of Miss Tourism, Alina Chogaru. Good evening, everyone. Buenas noches. Con el permiso de el señor presidente, su excelencia Obiang Ngema Mbasogo, primera dama, primer ministros, vicepresidentes y todos los presidentes aquí presentes, quiero agradecer a Guinea Ecuatorial para tenernos aquí en esta magnífico país, un paraíso sin conocido todavía por sus atracciones turísticas. Pasamos dos semanas inolvidables aquí en, en este hermoso país y creo que si logramos un poquito de subir Ecuatorial Guinea en la mapa como un destinación turístico y también para promover el imagen en una positiva uh, manera, creo que logramos mucho porque, porque Guinea Ecuatorial merece el título de, para mí es como un diamante chiquito, pero precioso, de África. Muchas gracias a todos que hicieron que este evento se realiza aquí en Guinea Ecuatorial especialmente al Ministra Delegada de Turismo, señora Guillermina, y todos los ministros que nos ayudaron, también el primer ministro. Muchas gracias a todos en mi nombre, en el nombre del presidente de organización, señor David Singh, en el nombre de 56 ambasadores de turismo que pasamos momentos inolvidables en este hermoso país. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Thank you very much, Vice President of Miss Tourism, Alina Cherogaro. Thank you, guys. Whew. We've come to that part of the evening, ladies and gentlemen when we find out who is our fourth runner-up, third runner-up, second runner-up,
the winner. Where do we start? It's that moment. Where do we start? Now. Let's start right now. And the honor is yours, madam. Thank you. And the fourth runner up is. You want to know? Ukraine! Ukraine! Alright, it follows then that from fourth runner up, we now announce the third runner up. The third runner up, Miss Tourism 2013, live from Equatorial Guinea to millions of people all over the world, is Spain! are too close to the top right now. Well, let's not make them wait any longer. Second runner up is Czech Republic. So, that means there's two people vying for that one spot. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? The winner not yet, not will yet, not be yet. announced not yet. later <laughs> because right now we want to uh, invite president of uh, Miss Tourism Organization, Mr. David Singh. Y también a su excelencia, el primer ministro de la República, don Vicente Ejate Tommy, y a su excelencia, la ministra delegada de Cultura y Turismo de Guinea Ecuatorial, doña Guillermina Mequi Mba Obono. Me gustaría mucho aprovechar esta ocasión para agradecerles el apoyo mostrado en la realización de este magnífico evento y por el trabajo que se ha llevado a cabo con tanto entusiasmo. Pero de una manera muy especial, quisiera brindar un muy significativo agradecimiento a nuestro querido presidente de la República de Guinea Ecuatorial y su primera dama, ya que sin su apoyo incondicional y su gran visión para el progreso de nuestro país, este evento nunca hubiera podido ser posible. Oh, yeah. Without these people, it would not have been possible to hold this pageant here. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time that we announce who is Miss Tourism 2013. Are you ready? I am. I, am. I was born ready. <laughs> <sighs> you know what? Let's do this. Okay. Let's go to a commercial break. Are you kidding? And no estás de broma, verdad? No. Okay. <laughs> Come on, let's go, let's go. Venezuela!
Yeah, it's going to sit nicely. She deserves it. Miss Venezuela. Miss Tourism 2013 goes to Venezuela. Let's hear it one more time for Venezuela. <laughs> Ladies, congratulations. Oh, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Miss Tourism 2013 coming to you live from Equatorial Guinea. And we're also live to millions of households all over the world. Thank you, thank you, and good night. Gracias a todos por su atención. Ha sido un placer presentarles Miss Turismo 2013. Enhorabuena a Miss Mundo Turismo 2013 Venezuela. Felicidades, aquí desde la ciudad de Sipopo, Malabo, Guinea Ecuatorial. Buenas noches.